everybody, and welcome back. Great question here. I, I don't know who asked it, but it's a good question. How do we reconcile or can we reconcile the ending of the Athanasian Creed with Ephesians 2, 8 through 10? So, great question. The ending of the Athanasian Creed says, you know, those who have done good, and I don't know how the English is there, just sounds good. Those who have done good will go unto eternity, and those who have done evil into eternal punishment, fire. So wait a minute. So it's what you do that either saves you or condemns you. Well, wait a second. Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. For it is by grace, and not grace who passed away 30 years ago, but grace, the grace of God, unmerited favor. The unmerited favor of God is how you are saved from sin, death, world, the power of the devil, so that you may not boast. It's not your doing. It's all Jesus is doing. And then verse 10, though, so I love that verse 10 was added to this question. For we are his workmanship, made in Christ Jesus for good works, that we may walk in them. That's, that's the reality of who we are in Christ. So the thing is, it all comes down to which comes first, justification or sanctification, faith or good works. You can't separate them. It's not like I'm justified, but eh, that sanctification stuff, nah. Or I believe, but you know what? I'm still going to live like the world. No, they go hand in hand. Faith is bound to produce good works. That's what Article 6 of the Augsburg Confession says. It always does good works. So the thing is, the ending of the Athanasian Creed in Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 are not contradictory. They're saying the same exact thing. I'm saved by what Christ has done for me. It's solely by grace, and now I walk in newness of life, this new life I have. The Athanasian Creed, those who have done good, how do I do good? How do I live righteously? Because Christ has done it all for me on my behalf and has reckoned me righteous. We just confess that all in the Athanasian Creed. But those who do evil, what's the reality? There's no faith there. I said one time, no, no Christian wakes up in the morning and goes, man, I want to steal stuff and kill people and cheat on people and lie all day. No Christian wakes up and says that. We go, you know what? Today's going to be a good day. Today's going to be an awesome day that I'm going to love people and be loved by people and share the love of Christ with people. And of course, do we fail? Yes, but we, we repent. We have a righteous despair in which we say, Lord, I need help. Forgive me for my failures and set me on the right path on this pilgrimage. So it's not that should these things have to be reconciled. They say the same exact thing, just in different ways. So I hope that helped a little bit. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.